Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how we derive two formulae that we use in maths relating to arithmetic series. Okay, and these two formulae you must learn off by heart. You must know how to use because in the exam you will be given some sort of question definitely on arithmetic series which makes use of these formulae. Also be aware that it is highly likely that what I show you now as a proof of these formulae will also be asked. So, two points. You've got to learn the formulae, know how to use them. Secondly, you've got to learn off by heart this proof that I show you for these two formulae because it's a 50-50 chance whether you'll get asked to prove this in the exam. So very important that you make a note of this proof and learn the proof as well as know how to use the formula. So, for example, let us say that I was talking about an arithmetic series and I'm going to use general letters for this arithmetic series. So the first term of the series is denoted by the letter A, as we've used in previous videos. A is the first term. Plus, now the second term is uh, the same as A, but with a little bit extra added on. It's the common difference, which we call D. So the second term is actually going to be the same as A, plus you're going to add to it this term, which is the common difference, D. So in a bracket, I've written the second term as A plus D. Plus, the next term... Well, it's going to be that term there, which is a plus d, and you're going to add to it another common difference value, which is another d. So what I end up with is a plus, instead of a plus 1d, I end up with a plus 2ds for the next term. And likewise for the next term, I would end up with a plus, you'd have to add another common difference d. So instead of a plus 2ds, you'd end up with a plus 3ds, plus, and so on. Now, as you can see, first of all, the first term is A, the second term here is A plus 1D. Now, I'll get the colour, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this very clearly on the video, but I'll put that in, it's A plus 1D, there's A plus 2D, A plus 3D. Now, this here is the second term, the second term. This here is the third term. This here is the fourth term. And as you can see, if I get another colour here now, second term, in the expression in the bracket, you have a plus 1d. Third term, it's a plus 2d. Fourth term, it's a plus 3d. So I hope you can see that every single time the number of d's is one less than the actual number of the term. So here, this is the first term, and it's a plus naught d if you like. Naught is one less than uh, the first term, one, term one. So, okay, having observed that, what I want to do is now find a general formula, so therefore a general formula for the nth term. Okay, the nth term, where n can be any value you like. So I don't want just a formula for the fourth term. The fourth term has got a formula a plus 3d, which I could write down. I want a more general formula than that. I want a formula for the nth term, where it could be seventh term, twentieth term, sixth term, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to write this as Tn is equal to. OK, well, if you think about it, if I carried on this pattern, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, and so on, eventually I would get 2 plus the nth term. OK, the nth term. And if you think about how the pattern works, if it's fourth term, it's a plus 3d. So if it's the nth term, it's going to be plus a plus and instead of 4 going to 3 it's going to be n going to n minus 1 so if I actually put a big square bracket around this you're going to get n minus 1 d's like so I don't know if you can just about see that I hope it's very important that you do see that 
So instead of a plus 3d for the fourth term, for the nth term it's going to be a plus 1 less than n, n minus 1. Put it in a bracket, lots of d. So a plus n minus 1, lots of d. So here we have a formula for the nth term. There's the nth term, there's the expression. It is going to be a plus n minus 1, lots of d. And that there is the first of the formulae that you need to learn off by heart. You need to know where it comes from, so you need to know this setup, and you also need to know how to use that formula in calculations. So that is the first of the proofs and the first of the formulae you've got to know off by heart. Okay, I'm now going to show you the second formula that you need to know off by heart. This is a little bit more difficult, uh, a little bit more involved. So if you bear with me for a second, I'm going to get rid of that. So uh, make sure you've got a copy of that. Rewind the video if you haven't yet got it. I'm going to start off and say the following. Imagine that I have got uh, another arithmetic series. A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D plus... Keep going. And what I'm interested in this time is not a formula for the nth term. What I'm interested in is working out what the, those things add up to, which is the sum of all the terms of the series, the arithmetic series. And I am going to be interested in actually adding up, not the sum of one term or two terms or three terms, I'm actually going to be interested in adding up the sum of n terms, where n could be any number depending on the question you're talking about. So I'm going to keep going here, and I'm going to carry on until I get to the nth term. Well, a plus, I'll put this in a big square bracket here. Let me just go through this in a colour again. This is the second term. This is the third term, fourth, fifth, sixth. This I'm going to say is the n minus one term, and then I'll do the nth term right at the end over there. So if it's n minus 1, this term will be a plus n minus 2, lots of d. And then plus, for the nth term, it's going to be a plus n minus 1 d's. Uh, there, you can see the formula for the nth term that we talked about five minutes ago. Okay, so we've got a plus that plus that, all the way up to that. So if I wanted to find out what the sum of all those terms are, I'd have to add them all up. So, at the side here, I'm going to say, let's write down Sn. Now, Sn stands for the sum of all those terms. So if I want the sum of all those terms, I've got to add all these things together. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is work out a formula which will actually give us the answer to what all those things added together is. How am I going to do it? Well, this is what I do. Underneath, directly underneath, I'm going to write down the sum of n terms out again. But I'm going to do it in a slightly different order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the entire sequence of these terms. So the last one comes first and the first one comes last. And I'm going to put them one on top of the other. So that thing there I'm going to write down first underneath the original a. So if I can just squeeze it in here. a plus n minus 1 d's and they go that goes underneath the a plus and then I'm going to put that term underneath this term so I'm going to have now a plus n minus 2 d's and that goes underneath that plus now obviously the one before that would be n minus 2 term which would be a plus n minus 3 d's, and that would go there, but I'm not going to bother putting that there. I'm going to carry on going all the way, and because I'm flipping everything, the second term would be the second to last term now, so that would be a plus a single d, and the very first term from before is now going to be the very last term, plus a. So all I've done is rewritten the sum of n terms to be this thing again, which is just the reverse order of the line above. And I've put them one on top of the other. What I'm going to do now is a little technique that we've used before in Year 9 simultaneous equation work. If you've got two statements which are true, one on top of the other, you're perfectly entitled to just draw a line underneath and add them up. 
and that's what I'm going to do. So I draw a line underneath all of that and I'm going to add. So I tell the examiner I add Sn plus another Sn, you get two lots of the sum of n terms. So I get two lots of the sum of n terms of an arithmetic series is equal to. And what I'm going to do now is add up this with this. Well, if I add an a to a plus n minus 1 d's, well, the a and the a go together to give 2a plus n minus 1 d's. So that plus that gives me that. OK, next, I add that and that. Well, I've got a plus d plus a plus n minus 2 d. Well, the a and the a, so plus I've got, the a and the a give me two a's, plus, and then I've got 1 d together with n minus 2 d's. Well, if you have n minus 2 d's plus 1 d, you're going to end up with n minus 1 d's. n minus 2 of them plus 1 of them, you get n minus 1 of them. n minus 1 d's. OK, so you get that and that give that, that and that give that. That and that, well, I'm not going to actually work it out, but if you did work it out, you'd actually end up with 2a plus n minus 1 d. Again, 2a plus n minus 1 d. 2a plus n minus 1d, that plus its partner would give 2a plus n minus 1d if you added them together. Carry on. That plus that, if you add that plus that together, you get 2a's plus n minus 2d's plus 1d give you n minus 1d, like so. And then finally, plus that plus a, a plus a gives you 2a plus you've got the n minus 1d's. So every single time you add these two terms together, you end up with 2a plus n minus 1d. 2a plus n minus 1d. 2a plus n minus 1d. That and that gives 2a plus n minus 1d. Fine. Well, how does this help us? Well, this tells us that 2 lots of Sn is equal to... I've got n, 2a plus n minus 1d lots and lots of times. Well, how many times does it appear? Well, if you go back to the original sentence, there was n terms. First term, second, third, fourth, fifth, up to n terms. So there's n lots of 2a plus n minus d, n minus 1d. So there are, if you put a big bracket around it, n lots of 2a minus n, sorry, plus n minus 1d. So... The quickest way of doing that addition sum is to say I've got 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d and I've got n lots of it. So I'll just put n square bracket lots of 2a, minus, 2A plus n minus 1d. OK, so we get to there. But I don't want to know a formula for 2 lots of Sn. What I want to know is a formula that will work out for you the sum of n terms. So I'm going to share this by 2. So I share the other side by 2. So I take this quantity, like so, and I divide it by 2. And the way that it's normally memorised is Sn, sum of n terms of an arithmetic series, is n over 2, bracket, 2a plus n minus 1d, close bracket. And that there is the formula that you need to be learning off by heart, but you also need to be familiar with how to do problems using that formula, and you also definitely need to be able to reproduce this proof to the examiner, because there's a 50-50 chance that that proof will be asked for in the examination. OK, you need to be making notes about that and you need to be playing the video over and over again to try and make sure you understand the basic concept of it. OK, and if need be, work with partners. So if there's part of this video that you're stuck on, because you can't put your hand up and stop me, you need to be asking someone if you're not sure where a particular line comes from. OK, now, so ask a partner or, failing that, ask me. OK, that's the end of this video. In the next video, 
I will show you how we use the two formulae I've just proven in some calculations.